It has been said what fates impose that men must need abide. It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treepwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Lichuk. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. <laughs> Press three wood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure there's been some mistake. I don't even know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Morgan LaFlay, mighty pirate hunter. My name is feared across the seven seas. I've taken down some of the most hardened, grog guzzling scumbag from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. LaFlay? But you're a woman. I thought... Wait, you've heard of me? Have I heard of you? Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Who discovered the mythical treasure of Big Whoop? Who escaped the inescapable Carnival of the Damned? I've been following you my whole life! Wow. Don't be too flattered. I'm here for the job. The Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. Appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh! I was using that. Oh, this is gonna be good. Pick up your sword and face me like a man. Like your man or like I'm a man? On guard. That line could hold my weight, but it's about an inch out of reach. How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. I can't reach it from here. The cannon isn't pointed at her. Besides, aiming at things actually on my ship is probably not a good idea. Hey, where's Winslow? You better not have heard him, you salty sea witch! He's fine! I've just got him tied up in the main quarters. Keep your head in the fight! Don't worry about me, Captain! I am sure I can wriggle my way out of these ropes eventually. Climbed onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of rope comes in handy for. For example, using it to tie up your first mate. Yeah? Well, I'm keeping the hook. Go ahead. I'll just take it back after I kill you. Hey, get off my hand, stupid bird. The mean lady trying to cut off my limbs takes precedence over navigating my ship right now. Besides, there's no one at the wheel. Aren't you getting tired yet? Not a chance. I train myself by studying your moves. I can match you blow for blow. Heck, I can even hold my breath for five minutes, just like you. Ha! Huh. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You mean that's true? I thought the stories were exaggerated. Impressive. Ha ha! Try and catch me now. Bet you didn't see that move coming. <clears throat> Yikes! Hiya! Was that supposed to hurt me somehow? Maybe. Did it work? No. Dang. Hmm. This 
sure wasn't messing with my barrel. I put that up there for a reason, you know. Sorry. Never mind. I can't reach it from here. Why are you taking orders from that Desinge guy anyway? He's clearly one loony doctor. He's got lampreys in his lighthouse. I'm a mercenary. It's what I do. Once hired, I won't quit till the job is done. Even if it means taking down a pirate as renowned as yourself. Renowned? I didn't even realize I was now. The cannon isn't pointed at her. Besides, aiming at things actually on my ship is probably not a good idea. That's the mast of my ship, the screaming narwhal. Yes, I know what a mast is. Can't we just agree to disagree? Not gonna happen. Hey, shoot, get away. Very well secured. Back off, woman. Never. Barrel breaks, Winslow is gonna be mad. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Look behind you! A three-headed sea chimp! No thanks, I've already had lunch. Oh, that's taking it too far. Morgan, I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. Ah! You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through it, use her for fish bait. She's gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. We're not going far with the mast in that shape. The cowardly cutthroat must have released the counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. Now it's cracked. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right! We can have our mast repair there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Aye, Captain. Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Where is everybody? Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? <laughs> maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Eh, well... Uh, you're right. Maybe later. 
First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right, we need a plastic pair, got it. <laughs> Mermaids. No fishing. Hi, sailor. Ah. Oh, take it easy. A big, strong pirate like yourself afraid of a little old Michaeli like me? <sighs> Sorry about that. So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% proud of Akalian Merfolk. Tail kinda gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? Ever hear of a man named Dakaba? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean Crazy Sponge Guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Row Island. Cool raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself a transit pass. Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chieftain, Beluga, and the Royal Chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There's a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen, with silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the Royal Chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal Chamber, got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. Give me what I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking! You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innards and tear those to pieces looking, you overgrown tadpole! Please, calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine! My brush! Brush, thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pops you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! What hand? What exactly? What happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh -oh. Um, well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. Uh, i better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one that Just I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? Arr, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Whitey Pirate. Shut up, you. Give me the summoning artifacts. Shall never happen. Artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall. In. 
to the Lord will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless! How about a compromise? Last night. Water looks cold. Let me turn up the heat for you. Please don't touch that. We just got it fixed. This is fixed? For now. We are waiting for the proper parts to come in. Aye, and if you don't give us those artifacts, my men will make sure those parts never get here, forcing you to rule from lukewarm water. <laughs> give me the summoning artifacts. Are you sure I can't turn the heat up for you? Right. Turn it all the way up to a boil. Just leave the heat alone, okay? Give me the summoning artifact. Oh, so, what's everybody talking about? Arr, me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly pox. Yeah. And these half-breed halibuts know how to get a hold of the cure, but they won't give it up. We'll never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicuddy. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your blowhole! Gentlemen, please. I'm sure you and Chieftain Beluga can come to some kind of agreement. What's this?